Today we are here at the Overland Park Arboretum, which is just south of Kansas City, Kansas. And we are here because they have a beautiful Monet garden. And joining me is Gail McMick Roberts, who is a master gardener here in Johnson County. Hi. Hello, thank you for joining us out here. Thank it's, you for inviting me. This is so exciting and so beautiful. I feel like I've just walked into France all of a sudden here well, at the Monet exactly Garden. That's exactly the experience we want you to have. So tell us a little bit about the role master gardeners play here at the Overland Park Arboretum. So Johnson County has over 500 active master gardeners and there's about 40 to 60 probably that work in the Monet Garden. We support nine gardens around the county. They're all spectacular but this one is unique in that it replicates the actual Monet design elements and so we have two work days a week and uh and it's a, a fantastic experience when a feast for the eyes. And you guys get to really actually be a part of the design of your annual color that you put in here and stuff? We do. It is a wonderful partnership with the city. Mm -hmm. And we and there's different bed captains for each of the sections of the garden. And they work tirelessly every year to plan on what new new plants they want to put in to to keep the style and the coloration uh, authentic to how it was designed by Monet and uh, and so it's just a wonderful relationship there's a little greenhouse here on site that the arboretum sell, actually grows many of our plants from seed over the winter and has them available for us in the spring and it's uh and then this is what happens. It's, I mean, I think we hit it at a peak, but it probably looks like this. I know the poppies are just finishing up, so they have those beautiful seed heads, and the gladioles are just coming on. So It is always a wonderful time to visit Monet, but you're right, this is pretty peak. Um, <laughs> May, June timeframe is really ideal before those real hot, brutal temperatures start. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about some of those Monet garden design elements that he's so famous for. Great, there are about seven or eight elements that he incorporated into his garden that we tried to replicate here. One starting with layers. Monet was big on not just planting, obviously at grand, ground level, but also going up. Mm -hmm. So he had a lot of structures and arbors in his garden. And so he also wanted to paint the, the blooms and the flowers with the backdrop of the sky. Right. And so having those arbors and, and uh, those elements available is, was important to his design. Uh, the other one was purity of color. Obviously he's thinking like a painter. So all of the gardening he did was the, with the intention of painting. Right. So he selected plant materials that were real intense in color, not as opposed to the variegated. Right. Uh, similar in lighting and backlighting, he selected color of uh, florals and and uh, plants that were like single petal, so that way you'd have the you know the uh, like the poppies where they sort of glow right, when the light absolutely. shines through. Right. Okay. He incorporated white, so he used a lot of different and, and contrasting colors okay. that are very appealing to the human eye, and then he used structures into his garden like bridges, boats, and benches. We've replicated the benches and the bridge. We are not able to replicate the boats. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, and I know uh, there's a shade garden behind here, and so you really have played up more of the texture aspect absolutely. there, right? Absolutely. That is such an important part, too. Richly patterned textures. When he added the uh, lily pond, which really was the last 20 years of his life, gave him inspiration for painting, he used that as his texture garden. He put azaleas in there. He put a lot of the ornamentals. And uh, so that was, that was an important element as well. Yeah, and you mentioned the water lilies and the lotus. We, Of course, that is Monet, classic absolutely, Monet, right? Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of paintings. In addition to weeping trees, right? So Yes, and unfortunately, we lost our signature weeping willow here a year ago, uh, but we have replanted, and it's going to be a while before it gets back to that Monet-style weeping willow, but absolutely. You still have a weeping part. Norway spruce back there that <laughs> looks beautiful. Do. and. So uh, including some of the, um, the trellises and the things that you have, the hardscape, you have a lovely sculpture of Monet also. We do. There was a generous gift given in 2013, a Utah artist by the name of, um, I think John Price is his name. He actually designed this. And what I love about it is the easel that is being used here in this in this statue is a replication of the view you're going to see here in, when you visit the garden. So Monet is literally looking at the he garden. Is. He's painting here. He really is. Well, so he's always with us when we're here, <laughs> watching over us, making <laughs> making sure we are not violating any of his design elements. Well, Gal, this is just phenomenal. And I know there's even more to the Overland Park Arboretum. If somebody yes. from Oklahoma wants to come up and visit, can you give us a little more information? Absolutely. We're, the Arboretum is open um, every day of the year. 
and there are lots of events going on in all seasons, even in the wintertime when the actual Monet Garden in France is closed. It's only open from April to October. Ours is open year round. So we have to have a lot of winter interest. <laughs> and uh, there's luminary walks and wonderful things that Arboretum's putting on all the time. All right. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. it with us. It's a joy to be with you. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.